Hey, praise the Lord. Peace and greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. It is I, Brother Clinton, once again, and you're back on the Word Prophet channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as our Lord Jesus Christ commanded. You know, it is written in the Scripture, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. Period. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. Second John verse 9. So those of us who are Christians, we understand by this, and by many other passages in the Scripture that say the same thing, that the vast majority of people in these last days who profess to be Christians are lost and hellbound. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. That's a biblical fact. It's, it's manifested to us all throughout the Scripture, especially in the New Testament. And so the reason that I'm having to make this video is not to slander anybody, not to speak evil of anybody, because that's not what I'm here to do. And that's also not what you're here to do. So you're not going to be doing that in the comment forum, just in case you thought that you might be. Um, the reason that I'm here is to speak a very important message to those who might have been deceived by the ministry of a man named Reuben Israel. Now, I don't know if that's his real name, but that's the name that he used on YouTube. And it was brought to my attention yesterday by a brother that this man called Reuben Israel sadly passed away yesterday or in, in recent past. I'm not sure exactly how long ago it was. But he recently passed away. And that's very sad because he was a man who was not in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so he didn't make it into the kingdom of God. And the reason that I'm saying this is not to slander the man, not to speak evil of him, um, but to, sp to speak these things in the, in the truth of the word of God so that those who might have been thinking that this man was a Christian and following in his footsteps may understand from the scripture that he was not a Christian. He was not in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. And whosoever follows in his footsteps is going to wind up where he is right now. And that's not somewhere that you want to be. Trust me. So... Um, when it was first brought to my attention that this man, Reuben Israel, had passed away, yesterday this was brought to my attention, at first I didn't recognize the name, and I was writing back to this brother saying I don't recognize the name, but I stopped in the middle of typing and I went and did a search online and I found his YouTube channel, and I saw his face and I remembered that he and I had actually conversed many years ago. I don't remember when it was, maybe 2008, 9, 10, somewhere around there. And the reason that I communicated with him was through, and it was through private messaging back when YouTube was a really cool platform and we had private messaging and, and you know, we could use YouTube to communicate pretty well with one another. That was a long time ago. It's not so much like that anymore. But anyway, I wrote to him because I saw one of his videos online and he was reviling people and getting in people's faces and, and almost like threatening to, to like to provoke them to physically attack him and it, it it rather reminded me of when i was a little kid and i used to watch professional wrestling you know rowdy roddy piper and hulk hogan and and all those guys and they used to pretend that they were really angry with one another and and provoke each each other to you know to violence and of course that was all a show but this man was professing to be a christian but he was out in the street like calling people names and reviling them and just just speaking to them in a way that our Lord Jesus Christ would never speak to anybody and his apostles and his disciples would never speak to anybody this way either. So I wrote to him and, and I think it was through private messaging. M maybe it was just regular YouTube comments. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But I let him know that that's not the way that, that Christians speak to people and that we shouldn't be speaking that way, that he shouldn't be speaking that way to people and that he should search the scriptures and, and, and spend some time alone with God before he continues to do the street preaching that he was doing, because he was doing it in a way that, that God didn't ordain to do so. And I don't remember his exact response, but it wasn't gracious, let me just put it that way. He did not receive the things that I had to share with him, and so that was the end of our conversation. However, that's just um, more or less a personality thing, and so I, I'm not going to hold that against him. But it... it it did give evidence to the fact that he did not know Jesus Christ and that the word of God was not abiding in him, but not so much as the evidence that I'm about to bring forth to you now. So if you'll scroll down a little bit and, and you'll look in the information box, the first link that you'll see there 
is a link to a video that, that I have in front of me right now. It's called Reuben Israel Visits D.L. Moody Shoe Store. And it was posted about a month ago. And it's a three and a half minute video. And this man, Reuben Israel, is standing in front of a plaque that's dedicated to D.L. Moody, which is Dwight L. Moody, who was the founder of the Moody Bible Institute. And it says D.L. Moody, Christian evangelists, friend of man, founder of the Northfield Schools, was converted to God in a shoe store on this site, April 21st, 1855. And so this man, Reuben Israel, is standing in front of this, this sign and he's making a video. And in this video, he is, he is hailing this man, D.L. Moody, as if he were a Christian and a great evangelist. And this lets me know, as a Christian, this lets me know right away that this man, Reuben Israel, is not in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Dwight Moody was not in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. He wasn't converted in a shoe store. He was never converted in his entire life. Um, today, these days, there is a very popular heresy in the churches called accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Um, this heresy, this ridiculous doctrine of devils, accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, was never heard of by anybody in the entire world until uh, about 150 years ago. And Dwight L. Moody was one of the first humans that was used by devils to introduce this ridiculous heresy into the Protestant denominations. There's no such thing as accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That's not written in the Bible anywhere. The apostles of Jesus Christ never told anybody anywhere to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, to accept Jesus Christ at all. Jesus Christ doesn't care if you accept him at all. It doesn't matter if you accept him or, or not accept him. He's still the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is no commandment in the Bible for anybody to ever accept Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will accept you, and you will become accepted in the Beloved if you will obey his gospel. But accepting Jesus Christ isn't how you obey the gospel. The way that you obey the gospel is by doing what the apostles of Jesus Christ commanded from the day that the New Testament began. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, with the promise that ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how we are born of water and of the Spirit. And Jesus said, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So Dwight L. Moody was an antichrist. He was a man who believed in a triune deity, which doesn't exist. And he was a man who was used of the devil to begin to propagate in the, in the 1800s the lie that if you will get down on your knees and say a sinner's prayer and accept Jesus Christ into your heart, accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, that you will be saved from your sins and that baptism doesn't save you. It's just an outward showing of an inward change, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Dwight Moody was one of the first humans to be used to propagate that doctrine of devils into the Protestant churches. He was not a Christian. He was never in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was an antichrist. And so this man, Reuben Israel, is standing in front of a plaque dedicated to this man, hailing him as if he were some great evangelist. And many, 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 many people in the world today believe that same thing. They believe that Dwight L. Moody was a great evangelist. And the, the Moody Institute, which is a seminary, a Jesuit seminary used for the purpose of deceiving people and then sending them forth into the churches to poison the people with the deception that they've been deceived with, was established by this man. So this man has done more evil against the kingdom of God. Dwight Moody has done more evil against the kingdom of God than very many soldiers of Satan all throughout the history, all throughout history. And so this man, Reuben Israel, in his ignorance, didn't know that. And I'm not slandering the man, Reuben Israel. I'm just saying that he was ignorant of this because he didn't know this. And the fact that he didn't know this but yet he had a Bible in his hand with huge words printed on his Bible that said, Holy Bible. I mean, you can't get the letters any bigger than he had it on his Bible. Holy Bible. And he kept holding up the Bible and he quoted various verses from the Bible when he kept going to you know, meetings of sodomites and Satanists to provoke them to, to arguments. 
Um, and that was the reason that he went to those meetings all the time. Christians don't go to meetings of Satanists and Sodomites to preach the gospel because they're not going to believe the gospel. That's why they're gathered together in, in their groups of Sodomites and Satanists because they're proclaiming their hatred for God. So for a Christian to go into their midst and start preaching the gospel to them would be vanity and nonsense. Christians don't do that. Who are the people that do that? Who are the people that pick a, a, a gay pride parade and, and go with their Bibles to preach the gospel, street preaching to the Sodomites? Who are the people that do that? Well, they're people that love contention and strife. There are people that are looking to pick a fight. That's the only kind of people that do that. They want attention, so they take their cameras and they pick fights with people, and then they film it and they put it on YouTube and play the victim. See, that's the kind of people that do that. Christians don't do that. A minister of Jesus Christ isn't going to go to a place where a bunch of sodomites are having a meeting because they're proud to be sodomites and start preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. That would be foolish. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. It's written in the scripture. Cast not your pearls before swine, lest they turn again and rend you. It's written over and over and over in the scripture. Christians do not go to pride gatherings where sodomites are gathered together to express their hatred for God and their love for Satan and go in there and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. The only reason that anybody would do that is if they enjoy strife and contention. And they, these are the people that do that, like this man, Reuben Israel. So he was not in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was a man who believed the doctrines of D.L. Moody, as he is proclaiming right here in this three-minute video that you'll see below. Uh, and D.L. Moody was a man who believed in three gods, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Um, and two of those gods, of course, don't exist. The only true God is God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only true God. There is no God beside him. The Son of God is a man, the man Christ Jesus. He is not a deity called God the Son. God the Son doesn't exist. Um, the Spirit of God is the Holy Ghost. He is not called God the Holy Spirit. There is no God called God the Holy Spirit. That God doesn't exist either. The Holy Ghost is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's in me. He's my God and my Father. He is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So God is one. There is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. God is not three. God is not a trinity. There is not a single word of the Holy Scripture, King James Bible, that says anything about God being a trinity of persons or any such nonsense. There is no such mention in, in the Word of God of any gods called God the Son or God the Holy Spirit. Uh, there's no eternal Son. There's no theophany. There's no co-equal. There's no co-eternal. There's no co-existent. There's nobody that is co-equal, co-eternal, or co-existent with God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And people that proclaim other gods that are supposedly so are antichrist. And as I began this video by quoting to you from Second John, so it is, whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. So if peradventure you were thinking that this man Reuben Israel was in the faith of Jesus Christ and you were maybe even a follower of his, I say this not to slander the man because he can't defend himself because he's in the grave right now and his soul is in hell. But I say this to warn you that you follow not in the footsteps of such a man. Because as the Lord Jesus said, broad is the way and wide is the gate that leadeth unto destruction and many there be which go in thereat. But narrow is the way that leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. And so if you love Jesus Christ and you want to serve him, then what do you do? You abide in his word. You abide in his word. Jesus said, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And if you abide in his word, then you will not walk in the footsteps of the late Reuben Israel. You will walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. Because it is written in the scripture, he that saith, I know him, ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Praise the Lord. May this message be a blessing to all those who have ears to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.